plenty of heat and warmth across the region this afternoon. 96 at Casper, 93 at Valentine, Denver, 94. And elsewhere, we're seeing 88 at North Platte. It's hot at Shadron, 96 and 93 at McCook, 94 at Oberlin, Kansas. Well, there is an area of north central Nebraska. Really, it travels uh, in kind of the bullseye out the inner ring, if you will, the inner circle. Z Ord, Thedford, Ballantyne, Norfolk, Sioux City, all areas that could see the threat of severe weather activity before the night is over. Storms already up in South Dakota. They're moving southeast. The frontal system is stalling out. Other storms are building across the panhandle. This whole area will come together and start pushing to the southeast. In combination with an upper level disturbance, surface low pressure continues to churn down in Kansas. Some of those storms severe already in parts of North and South Dakota where there are watches in effect. Another area with thunderstorm watches, Missouri, Illinois, parts of Indiana and Kentucky and there's plenty of severity within that area of, and cluster of storms as well. And then widely scattered in the east as well as the west and southwest part of the country. We continue to see the surface low hanging right around our part of the country. More storm activity. Isolated severe, that's really the trend this time of year. And that will continue in this long range forecast. Again, there is the chance of storms every day. Better chances tonight, however, overnight, 68 the low in the Tri-City area, 86 tomorrow. Some of those storms lingering tomorrow morning and then mainly sunny in the afternoon. But then we come to tomorrow night, storm chances return at 40 percent. Lows tonight, 63 at Scotts Bluff to 68 at Lincoln. With those highs tomorrow, 85 at York to 91 in Imperial and McCook. Most areas will see seasonal highs. We do cool down, though, on Thursday to 80, even cooler yet Friday. And as you can see, there are opportunities for storms and some pretty fair chances now in this long-range forecast. But temperatures overall mild. It's just the humidity factor that makes everything feel a lot warmer than it is. Mm. Daytimes have been pretty nice. We haven't really had very strong winds. Uh, storms are just really hit and miss right now. Tonight they might be a little better organized and probably later tonight.